you're using experimental herring widget and you have customized the font size, give it some color, change the weight. But when you check it on the website, nothing has changed. It is still showing the same old font or the same old settings. It's pretty annoying, right? But do not worry, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to give you the reasons of exactly why this happened and how you can fix them step by step. Also, at the end of this video, I have a bonus for you and it will help you design the most attractive heading. So stick with me till the end. So the number one reason that might be causing this issue is global style conflict with widget style. So sometimes Elementor's global setting like typography can conflict with the specific font style that you have sent in your heading widget. That is why you might be seeing the old font in the heading widget instead of the new ones that you have set. Now here's how you can fix it. Okay, first go to your WordPress dashboard. Now click on the appearance and then customizer. Now go to the general settings and then custom fonts. Now from here, add your custom font and upload the font file in the format that works for you. For example, this, maybe this or this. Okay, so here's a quick note. WordPress might block your font upload for security reasons. So if that happens, try using custom code or adding a security plugin to avoid this. It will let you upload your font file without any issue. Now number two, clear browser and server cache. So sometimes caching plugin can block the new font style to show up in your heading or on your site. It's like your site is stuck showing the old version. So you need to fix it. Now here's how you can do it. First of all, clear your browser's cache. Then head to your WordPress dashboard and clear the cache using a caching plugin. I would recommend plugins like WP Rocket or Lightspeed Cache. Now refresh the page and check if your new styles are showing up. And that's how easy it is. Number three, inspect CSS conflict. So sometimes custom CSS can also interfere with your new font style. So make sure there are no conflicts. And here's how you can check it and fix it. So go to the Elementor editor for that page. Select Heading Widget. Now head to the Advanced tab and look at the Custom CSS section. This feature is available in the Pro version. Now if there's any custom CSS that might be conflicting with your font setting, simply remove it or adjust it. Now number four is update the extra add-on and Elementor. Now another thing is to check whether your extra Elementor add-on and Elementor itself is up to date if they are outdated, there might be some compatibility issue and the problem with how your fonts are applied. So make sure they both are updated to the latest version. Number five, disable the third-party plugins. So sometimes the third-party plugins can also cause problem. They might mess with the way the font styles are displayed. So here's how you can fix it. Deactivate the third-party plugins one by one and check your site to see if any of them are causing the issue most of the plugins that control CSS or improve the website speed might be the ones interfering with your heading widget. So keep your focus on those type of plugins. Now, if none of these steps help you solve your problem, do not hesitate to reach out to Expro Add-on customer support. All you need to do is provide a detailed description of the issue, attach the screenshot of the widget setting, and include your WordPress and plugin version. Now for more help with using the Expo Elementor heading widget, make sure to check out our full documentation. It covers all the feature, customization option, and step-by-step -step instruction with visual example. The link is in the description below. Now comes to the bonus part. If you want to take your headings to the next level and make it look amazing, Expo has its advanced heading widget for you. This widget lets you add features like gradient backgrounds, drop shadows, and hover effects for a more dynamic look to your heading. You can also try our animated headline widget to create the eye-catching headings with animations like typing, fading, sliding effect, and much more to engage your visitor. I don't think so you want to miss on it. And that's it. Now that we have gone through all the steps, your heading must be looking exactly how you want it, right? Now, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification so you don't miss any more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next.